is solo one you can call me the dog blogger and this is your stock tv your number one dog tv for all dog lovers if you're new on our channel so kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content today dog lovers you are right here at one of the finest worldwide kennels in ghana and i'm sure you're loving the scenes right here but then before i get interactive with the boss man you can follow us on all of our social media handles on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok at gh dog blogger and then let me also acknowledge our proud sponsors bravet tochu bravet tochu your number one solution to all ticks fleas and mice infestations you feel ticks on your dogs fleas mice just put the contact details on our screen or when you go to any pet shop you ask of Bavec to chew and after giving your dog one tasty soft Bavec to chew they're going to be free from ticks fleas and mice infestations for 12 good weeks Bavec to can be given to breeding dogs lactating dogs as well as puppies from eight weeks of age and then we are also proudly sponsored by Josira pet food the pet food with passion you have dogs you're looking for the right dog food puppy milk puppy feed sauces just link up with them your contact are on our screen or when you go to any pet shop you ask of a product any product from Josira pet food and the beautiful thing is they've even got dog food for diet sensitive dogs which are grain free and hypoallergenic now dog lovers we are right here to give you exclusive dog content from this episode so let's go for a quick break we'll be back shortly my name is Solowan. you can call me the dog blogger <laughs> having trouble dealing with ticks mites and fleas infestations on your dogs use Brevecto Chew just give your dog one tasty soft Bravecto chew and they will be free from ticks, mites and fleas for 12 good weeks. Visit any pet shop near you and grab a pack of Bravecto chew now. For wholesale and retail, contact 0243-554-612. Remember, Bravecto chew may be used in pregnant, breeding and lactating dogs as well as puppies from 8 weeks of age. Bravecto chew your perfect solution to all ticks, fleas and mites infestations. Okay, dog lovers, welcome back from that quick break. Just as I told you earlier on, today we are at one of the finest Rottweiler kennels in Ghana. And this kennel is located at Kaswa in the central region of ghana yes it's in the central region of ghana but it's very closer to the greater Accra region of ghana so i have this wonderful family right here but then before i introduce this wonderful family here in case you want to link up with gh.tv you pick the contact details on our screen 055-328-4056 055-328-4056 now dog lovers the name of this kennel is mason's rottweiler kennels now let me introduce the the the, the boss man right here boss welcome to the show thank you very much hello nice so let me get to boss man here to boss man welcome to the show thank you very much thank you very much boss thank you very much nice now let me let me start by asking you to introduce yourself to my dog lovers who are watching us um i'm caliber marco and then i'm the co-owner of missing short wireless yeah and then we are here we like we love dogs we are dog lovers Rot wireless to be specific because they are very beautiful babies and then they are like let me say all weather uh -huh. yeah you can if you want a medium sized dog playful dog aggressive dog in india everything you want mm -hmm. you bought yeah so that's why we love rot wireless and then that's a little bit about me you know yeah, thank you very much <laughs> so dog love that's the co-owner right here at mason's rot wireless strictly rot wireless boss man welcome to the show once again i think the first time we actually met was around 2019 you came for the kug dog show and i saw i just saw a group of gentlemen all branded in amazing <laughs> rottweiler i'm like wow yeah 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 yes i remember that day yes i was with a couple of friends they came to support the agenda yes and uh, Macy's has been in action since um 2018 yes we've actually been around we've been playing around dogs for almost um 10 to 9 to 10 years now now but then uh, Mason's actually um, came into the light uh, around 2018 so we've been around for almost um, five to six years now yeah since 2018 now let me allow you to officially introduce yourself to my dog lovers okay so I'm, uh, I'm Joel I'm Joel yes uh, so many people know me by so many names actually but we're not going there right now <laughs> yes uh, and I'm also the co-owner of Mason's Rottweiler uh, kennel yes so uh, yeah we've been 
in uh, as I said, we've been uh, in play since 2018. We've been here yeah, for uh, f five to six years. Yeah, so we've been operating. Uh, let me see in the shadows. <laughs> we've been operating. Yeah, we've been operating for some time now. And um, uh, my love for dogs actually actually started when I was young. I'm very big on nature, actually. Yes, I love uh, nature so much. I love animals. I'm, I'm, I'm very big on animals. Yes. So, uh, and uh, one thing about me that people don't say, or most people know, I should say, is uh, I like the color black. Yes. And uh, I like dogs, actually. My primary, let me say, I'm big on nature, but my primary animal I will select first to be with me as a nature lover is dogs. They are dogs. So, uh, why, if you are getting a dog that comes in black, I mean, yeah, why don't you take it? Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all love in one. Yeah, it's all love and uh, all, all packaged in one. So, well, not specifically the color. It comes with their um, loyalty, uh, their intelligence and everything. Yes, so uh, there's a whole lot of reasons why I love dogs. I love what's wireless in specific. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me ask by how did that love start did you did you come out were you brought up with dogs did you see a video did you see somebody with a dog? how did it happen actually actually um uh let me say i had the privilege of owning some pets when i was young uh actually i didn't grow up with dogs but then i remember back then uh, my parents used to tell me as i started this business my parents used to tell me um way back when i was young we go to the village to go visit my grandma where she had this dog she used to take to the farm and yes, I know. I think the hope, hope was the name, and and I always want to. I whenever we go, I cry that um, I want to bring the dog back with me to Accra. Yeah, yes. And then one time, and they said, okay, fine. My grandma was like, fine. If the dog delivers, have got guest puppies, she will send me one. Just you know, you know that kind of thing that they say to just make a baby a, a child stop crying. Yeah, so uh, one time we were there, and uh, my grandma called my mom and was like, Oh, hope, hope just got hit by a car, knocked down by a car. And according to, I don't remember that time, but according to my people around me, said I cried a lot. I cried a lot. So uh, I've been, I've been uh, a dog lover since my childhood. Let me say that. Yeah, I've been a dog lover since my childhood. Yeah. Nice one. Let me let me get to you, boss. Right here. To how did your your love also start? Well, um, one time my brother went to uh, my auntie's place at Kumase. So yeah, we lived in Accra, and then we had um, a family at Kumase. So in that house, there's a there's a dog. This particular, I've forgotten the the breed, but the name is Blessing. So my brother went there, and then she, he fell in love so much in love with the dog, and he came home to tell me about when he came back to Accra from vacations he came home to tell me about it telling me how wonderful the dog is I was so eager to see the dog and then one time I got the chance to go to my auntie's place I saw the dog I also fell in love with the dogs too so that's when my do uh, love for dogs started Nice one. This is a family affair right here. Two brothers, the bosses right here at Macy Road Wireless and they've got this beautiful boy right here. Very beautiful boy here and that's a puppy from this particular yeah, this beautiful boy okay 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 nice one. so let's um get to this how did you come up with the name mason rod wireless okay um so when i started this business actually when i started um when i and i thought of uh, monetizing my passion for dogs let me see that um i started with the name asgard kennel okay. asgard kennel Asgard Kennel. Yes, Asgard Kennel. But then I realized it was uh, it, someone also came into the business with the same name. Yes, with the same name. So I decided, why not me changing it to something that will be I will be more recognizable with. So I t we took initials from our names and then just fixed them and we got Mason. Mm -hmm. And I told my brother that well, this this is nice. Mason sounds. Yeah, very, very, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so we took the name Mason and we decided to go with it. So actually, Mason is um, I am actually initials from our names. Some pick some yeah, letters from our names. And yeah, that was how we came out with Mason's Rod Wireless. Yes. <laughs> Mason's Rottweiler right here. Very beautiful kennel dog lovers. Very soon we'll get to my favorite part where we check out the dogs, the names, and everything. So, boss, how, how did you get into the breed? Whose idea was it? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it was my idea. Actually, growing up, I always, this was one thing, something I always wished for. 
to have a big house, you know, with dogs all around me and all. Yes, so it was my idea. You know, you, you it's, it's, let's be honest. Let's be honest. It's feeding a dog to make it look good is very expensive. Let's be honest. Yes, even though for the passion part, we also talk about the business part of this business aspect of this um, um, dog breeding. Yes, so uh, I actually decided to, you know, make something out of it so I can be able to maintain their well, health and everything like the way they look nice and everything. Yes, so we, I just decided to monetize my passion. But then, but then, the passion side comes more than the business side for me. For me, yes. So that's why, that's, that was how I decided to actually start this business. Yeah. Nice one. And to, uh, um, to, to, to also ask, did you just start up with the Rottweilers or there were other breeds you actually <laughs> went into? Yes. So actually, um, I think in the beginning, I, I made mention of the fact that uh, we've been playing around dogs for nine to ten years. Yes. So when we started, it wasn't Rottweilers. We started with um, French Mastiffs. Well, back then, you know, we didn't know what was the pedigree and stuff, you know. So we started with something mixed breed. And well, yeah, something mixed breed. We thought it was uh, 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 pedigree and stuff. We didn't actually know much about the pedigree. Let me say that. But then the dogs, for the love of the dogs that we had, we didn't care what it was. You get what I'm trying to say? We didn't actually care what it was. We, we just knew it was it was it was a lovely um, um creature with four legs and a man's best friend. So so far as it's a dog, we were okay. You know, when you talked about um the the pedigree thing, I just it just reminded me of something. I remember back then, some years back, I asked a friend. He he said he was selling his rod wireless, and I asked him. He said, "Oh, they are pedigree." I asked him, ah, wh- "What is the meaning of a pedigree?" Was, oh, tell you they they chew the chips. That's 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 what it's called. The pedigree. <laughs> He says, oh, they feed on only the chips. They don't eat any Gary or anything. So, to date, if I, I remember it, I just <laughs> laugh. <laughs> Maybe he was thinking about probably the yeah, brand, the, the dog brand. food. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so, bro, you, you, you let, let's get to what you're talking about. You're talking about the French Mastiff. Yes. So, actually, we didn't start with World, World, World Wireless. Sorry. Um, we started with French Mastiffs, Shepherds. And, uh, well, actually, they weren't pure. They were mixed, as I said. So, uh, at my first letter, I remember I was schooling, I was staying in Kumasi schooling. Mm-hmm. Yes, and I, I, I think the first letter, a family, family bought it. Okay. Yeah, my family bought it because actually my, my aunties and co knew the love I had. Uh-huh. Yes, the, the love I had for animals. So, they were ready to support the agenda, whatever I go with. If supposedly it's, if it's uh, with animals, animals, I'm, they were ready to support. So actually, my first letter, I told them I'm selling it. They all came to into the house, like, oh, me for back Should I take one? Should I take one? It's like, no, I'm selling it. It's something I want to start. Well, they all supported by giving me something small, and then they took one. Something small, and then they took one. It's like, well, if family can buy it, I think friends can also help too. Yes. So uh, fast forward, fast forward, uh, somewhere 2018. I met a couple of friends who had access to good water wireless. Yes. And then they actually, actually, I, I, you know, I made mention about the fact that water wireless were something, the, the particular specific dogs I actually liked. So I met them, I was like, with the Lutu, Bingo. Yeah. So I met them, they, they actually connected me to good water wireless. And well, I got my first water wireless way back, Chaku. That was Chaku on House DMK from um, um, Dogmatic, you know. Yes, so uh, I got him and I got a couple of um, females here and there, and we started the business. So uh, Mason didn't actually start. Uh, let me see, Mason didn't actually start from um, 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 the blue. Let me, no, let me see. Uh, it just didn't happen overnight. Yes, that's the right term to use. It didn't happen overnight. It happened in a in a in a time space of years, like you know, time span, long period of years. Yes, so uh, we started small, but we are still going. Yeah, we are still coming up. Yeah, small, small. So we, this is where we are now. <laughs> this is beautiful. Looking at the colors and everything, dog lovers, and I'm sure my dog lovers can see your customized hoodies and all of that right here. 
Macy's Rod Wireless. I love the color. I love the kennel. I love everything. Dog lovers, we are, we are having a wonderful conversation right here. But then let me let me tell you that if you're new on our channel, if you just bumped into our channel, this is GH Dog TV, your number one dog TV for all dog lovers. So if you are new, you kindly subscribe to our channel. You hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content. And you also follow us on all of our social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at GH Dog Blogger. This episode is probably sponsored by Bravecto Chew, your number one solution to all ticks fleas and mites infestations you've got ticks on your dogs fleas mites say no more i'm just throwing this challenge to you go get bravecto give your dog one tasty soft bravecto chew and they're going to be free from ticks fleas and mites infestations for 12 good weeks bravecto can be given to breeding dogs lactating dogs as well as puppies from eight weeks of age so pick the contact or you link up at any pet shop and then we're also probably sponsored by Josira pet food the pet food with passion you want the right nutritional dog food for your dogs link up with them poppy milk sauces wet food dry food go to any pet shop and ask or you pick the contact details and the beautiful thing is they've even got dog food for diet sensitive dogs which are grain free and hypoallergenic now boss man let me let me we, we've talked about how your brother has talked about how you got into the road wireless and all but then let me ask how, how many dogs do you have currently and i'm sure i've i've not i've seen a couple of puppies around but i've also heard some barking from some corners but i've not yet seen them <laughs> yeah thank you very much um, so we have about seven dogs right now for the adults mm -hmm. and then we have two pup three puppies with them right now mm -hmm. we have other puppies somewhere okay. we have um, very little ones like about four weeks or so and then we have um ones who are about eight weeks two males who are about eight weeks yeah so this, these are the dogs we have and then yeah so the adult female and the adult dogs are seven two males five females and then the puppies are just mean they're just mean <laughs> nice one and i think um joel i think behind the scenes when we were talking you you made mention of you talked about something i like you to tell my dog lovers you talk, you talked about a new branch or something like yes, that yes yes so uh, you know the name goes with uh, macy's rottweiler kennel but now it's macy's rottweiler kennels so um thank you very much for giving me this uh, opportunity to actually uh, announce our uh, new kennel that we've opened in cape coast yes there we have a well-trained um, um staff who are also doing the best of jobs there so if you are in cape coast and you want a missing bloodline you don't have to even come to us here in accra or kaswa you just link up over there and they'll sort you out yeah 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 yes yes so macy's rotwala kennel now is not just macy's rotwala kennel but it's macy's rotwala kennels yes so uh, we have a bunch in cape coast now so those in cape coast trust me you're having you're going to get the best of breeds from our bloodlines yeah yeah so they'll sort you out they'll sort you out just hit us up we'll sort you out. if you're in cape coast you want a missing bloodline you don't have to look just travel all the way here to get a puppy yeah, yeah. Cape Coast branch will sort you out. <laughs> I'm sure they, they, they can evidently see from this puppy right here. Very beautiful puppy right here. So now, boss man, before we get to check out the dogs, I know my dog lovers can't wait for us to get to my favorite part. Can you can you take us to how you take care of all of these dogs with your brother? It's a, it's a very big and how many times do you feed them, you know? So um um actually uh it's a whole lot of work that uh, people don't really know about dog breeding. Dog breeding actually looks really nice from afar. Yes, I've had people come to the kennel and be like, wow, your dogs are nice. You know, what do you feed them and all? You know, but uh, honestly, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Dog breeding is not easy. I won't, I won't try to scare or discourage anyone trying to enter into the business, but, but then you have to know the truth behind it. Yeah, uh, dog breeding uh, is not easy. So for me, for instance, uh, we, we actually wake up very early in the morning to work around. Yes, especially when there are puppies around in the house. Yes, we wake up very early, let's say 4.35. Because we don't want the situation whereby, you know, the sun, the sun will come out and then we'll still be working, you know, some of the dogs will get a bit stressed up and all. So, uh, we wake up very early where my brother also is playing a very major part, yes, in this business, yes. He, he actually helps a lot. He helps a lot. He plays a major part in the business, in the kennel, yes, where he actually foresees um, most of the major activities, yeah, with the dogs. Whilst I also do the paper race, <laughs> and you know, the, the, the backstage things, the silent things that, you know. Yeah, so uh, uh, we actually, uh, it's a whole lot of work 
it's a big work altogether. You know, some people actually be like, um, hey, I'm into breeding, but then uh, be like, oh, what do you do? You know, are you okay with those? Like, yeah, I have a I have a kennel boy who actually helps with the with the blows. Like, no, you are not a breeder. You are an investor. You are investing. Yes, because you can't. People think uh, people actually think breeding is actually more of um, you can have breeding as a side job. And I tell them, nah, you can never do breeding as a side job. You can rather invest. If you are investing into a breeder to actually like help you, or a kennel guy is helping you out, you are not a breeder. You are an investor. You can never have breeding as a side job. Never. Trust me. Because it takes time. It takes uh, attention. It takes um, uh, money. A whole lot to actually be a breeder. Yes. So if you tell me, well... With a whole work, it will work a uh, lot of work around if you have this uh, large stock and everything, and you tell me you breeding is a side job. It's, no, 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 no. I'm not going to agree with you. <laughs> yes, I'm not going to agree with you because uh, this is a job that I've actually devoted my almost my whole life to, my whole time, everything. Yes, um, um, actually, especially when there are puppies, you can't even go out. You can't even, your friends be chilling in town, having fun in town, but then you'll be here taking care of your business. Yes, that's big. But if you are able to have puppies and this last talk, for instance, and then you are able to say you can go out to have fun and everything, then I think we should really look into the who you calling yourself a breeder thing, you know? Yes. So, uh, yeah, breeding, uh, the, the, the mechanics, or let me say, the work behind it is not easy. It's not easy. What pushes the kennel to actually move forward is all up to you, the breeder, and everything. Yes. So, it's not easy. Working around, you know, being a breeder is not easy. Yeah. One thing I would love to commend this kennel very much is when it comes to the branding. From day one that I, I, I actually saw Macy's Road Wireless, I've, I've really loved it. Now, Bosma, be, 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 before we get to my favorite part where we check out the dogs, yeah, we are wrapping up the interview. I'd like you to drop your contact details and then you also give your final message to my dog. Love. It can be an advice to upcoming breeders or anything. <laughs> Okay, so um, for our contact details, uh, we my number or our number, the business's number is zero two four nine six two six three nine eight. Macy Shorts while I can know. And then social media and um, Instagram, we are on Instagram as Macy Shorts while I can know. And now then on TikTok as Macy Shorts while I can know. So and then um, Twitter, we're on Twitter too. Yes, as Macy Shorts while I can know. So uh, anytime you want to check out our dogs, check out our dogs and see what we have dealing. Yeah, we are dealing with you can actually go or call or check out our social medias yes we are there we do <laughs> your final message to everyone people yes, my final message to everyone watching this is not even about the kennel message as well i like kennel but then it's something i want to tell you about gh dog tv yes if you want um all the information about a particular dog breed you want to uh have uh, trust me, the best thing to do is to go on YouTube, subscribe to Geodog TV. Yes, and just learn, learn something. Just look for what you are, you want, and learn something from there. Trust me, it's very educative. Trust me. Yes. So that's my final message to the viewers out there. Yeah, so our dog lovers, heard it from the bo- if not su- if you've not subscribed, come on, subscribe. Even if you're not a dog lover, you just bummed into the video. Subscribe and then you're going to have a, a massive love for dogs. I'm both for all about you as well. Okay, so my final message to the dog lovers and then upcoming breeders is um, if you if you started with something small, just don't don't give up. Never, don't because as my big brother said, uh, we started somewhere. It wasn't just like this overnight. It wasn't just boom. Then you see this. Now we started somewhere and then little by little we came up and then we got here. We still we are still moving. We are not stopping. We are still moving. So Charlie, never give up. Stay, stay strong, Charlie. Nice one. Just as the boss man said, room wasn't built in a single day. Yes. So keep on keeping on and trust me, it's going to be worth it. Now, dog lovers, my name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. Today, I'm right here at Kaswa. I'm at Mason's Road Wireless. We're going for a quick break. We'll be back shortly. And when we come back, we'll get to my favorite part. We check out the dogs. Don't go anywhere. Having trouble dealing with ticks, mites, and fleas infestations on your dogs? Use Bravecto Chew. Just give your dog one tasty soft Bravecto Chew and they will be free from ticks, mites, and fleas for 12 good weeks. Visit any pet shop near you and grab a pack of Bravecto Chew now. 
for wholesale and retail, contact 0243-554-612. Remember, Ravecto Chew may be used in pregnant, breeding and lactating dogs as well as puppies from 8 weeks of age. Bravecto Chew, your perfect solution to all ticks, fleas and mite infestations. Okay, dog lovers, so we are at my favorite part where we check out the dogs. It's getting that car right here. But we are still here. We're giving you this exclusive dog content right here at Mason's Road Wireless. So, boss man, let, let's start with this beautiful pup here. So, um, this is uh, Lin Kuei. Yes, the, the name came from, inspired by, I'm a video, we are video genius ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the name is inspired by... Um, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat, yes. You, you play video games, huh? <laughs> I yeah. think that's, um, is it Scorpion or Sub-Zero, yeah. the clan, yeah. The clan, the clan. So, actually, uh, Lin here is 14 weeks old, and um, an offspring of a man boy here, and um, Leah. We'll be seeing Leah very soon, yes. Mm -hmm. So, Lin here uh, is, I call him Lin for short. So he's a very big boy actually and one of the um, pride of Mason's Ross Wireless. Yes, actually um, he's already gone. <laughs> he's already gone. We are just waiting for um, um, the delivery, the, the owner to come pick it up. So uh, yes, we have Lynn. Lynn here, Lynn Koi. Yeah, from our air later. One of the most from our air later. Yes. So thank you very much. That's Lynn Koi. Nice so a dog lover. That is Lynn Koi right here. A dog whose name was inspired from the Mortal Kombat <laughs> game. <laughs> nice one. Okay. Okay, boss man, and what about our, our, our big boy right here? So, uh, man boy is actually, um, is a, the name is actually a nickname uh, I gave it when um, he came. Man boy is actually from Russia. Um, Fly flows is it up. That's his pedigree name. Yes, uh, and he's actually the grandson of Eminem Von House Edison. Yeah, the direct grandson of Eminem Von House Edison. I mean, you can see some features of Eminem in him. Yeah, so he's a very big boy. He's just two years old. He's just two. He actually turned two years, um, I think, last month. Yeah, eight of last month. So he's just uh, two years and a few, couple of few months, yes. So my boy actually came to us when he was just six months old. A very, very huge boy when we saw it. Actually, people don't actually believe his age. Yes, <laughs> if I tell them that my boy is just two years, be like, wow, the dog is just two years, it's big, it's big, it's blah, 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 you know. For his size, it's a wonder. Yeah, for his size, it's a wonder. So we are just grateful that we got something really nice and he's giving us very solid puppies like this, like Lin Kui here. So yes, so my boy, that's my boy. Dog lovers, check out Mom Boy right here. Very huge, very beautiful, very solid, top quality meal right here. In case you want to link up with Mason's Rod Wireless, pick the contact details on our screen. So we are still checking some of the dogs right here at this kennel. Okay, so we have this big boy right here. Bro, I think this is the first time I'm seeing this dog. Yes, so um, Baron hasn't been with us for long. Yes, Baron hasn't been with us for long. He's actually made in Ghana. Yes, um, and, and uh, um, the kennel that he's from he made, has made me very proud. Yes, he's been with us uh, for, I think, just six months now. So, actually, this is the first time people are seeing Baron on your platform. Yeah. So, Baron is a uh, son of Lord Black Sand Action and uh, State Kennels B, Texas. Yes, yeah, Texas. So, Baron is, I think, three years, getting to four years. And, yes, he's a very good meal. Yes, he has been helping us with uh, a lot of giving us nice puppies, very nice puppies. So yeah, Baron uh, is, 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 is a lovely boy. He's, he's, he's one of he's on my heart. Yeah, just like my boy and every every dog here. Yes, so yeah, that's Baron for you. Baron is for available for start service. Yes, Baron is available for start services. Yes, so same as my boy as well. But then it comes with terms and conditions. Yes, please. So uh, yeah, Baron is available. Yeah. <laughs> So our dog lovers have a look at Baron right here. Very beautiful boy. Check out, check out this fine boy right here at Macy's Rottweiler Kennel. Nice.
Okay, boss man, and who, who do we have here? There's a beauty here. Yes, so uh, this girl right here is a Montana of Mastrat. Yes, this girl right here is Montana of Mastrat. Also, I think, yeah, they are, he's related to Baron. Same father. Yes, same father. And uh, the mother is Galaxy of Mastrat Kennel. Yes, Galaxy. Yeah, you know Galaxy, right? Galaxy House of Natalie. Natalie. Yes, a very, very good female. Same as Montana over here. Trust me, um, Montana is actually the oldest dog in the kennel. Yes, and then... Um, I she she has a nickname in a kennel called the Duchess. Yes, the Duchess of Mason. Reason being for some strange reason, every dog actually let me say pays homage to her when you open it. Yeah, so if you open a dog here to go out to exercise, they all get to Montana's cage and wag their tail for some few seconds before they go. So I can see the respect other dogs have for him here, for her here. Yes, so Montana is, is, is a very, very, very uh, respectable female amongst uh, his, uh, her family. Yes, so that's Montana for you. Yes, very, very, very good female. Yeah. Nice one, dog lover. Check out Montana, the old girl right here. Boss, can, can you make her stand up so that my dog lovers can really have a look at this beauty? Dog lovers, have a look at this beautiful female right here at Mason's Rod Wireless. Okay, boss man. So we have this beauty right here. I think this is the last dog we'll be we'll be introducing. Yeah, so um, that's Brit Brit Mason Rots. Uh, so so the pride of the kennel. Yes, Brit uh, is actually from my billeta. Yes, Brit is actually from my billeta. That's a um, uh, smart dog G Klaus and a cuckoo of Farman. Yes, a puppy from Smart Dog J Class and Cocoa Farmer. So Brace has given us letters, um, our K letter, give us our J letter and our K letter. Very excellent puppies. Actually, the females from from Baron going to all the females over here are all made in Ghana. That's one thing I can say about Ghanaian breeders. Yes, they are producing excellent quality. I have some of uh, the the top canals, uh, bloodlines from top, some of the top canals here in Ghana. Yes, actually handpicked by me. So uh, yeah, uh, Brace here. It's also actually uh, um, um, born and bred here in the kennel. Yes, raised by us. Yes, so Brit is uh, also an, 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 um, an excellent female. Yes, very good female. We actually love so much. <laughs> yeah. Nice one, dog lovers. Have a look at Brit right here. Very beautiful female right here at Mason Rod Wireless, Ghana. Okay, so dog lovers, this is what we have for you today on GH Dog TV. Today we visited Mason's Rottweiler Kennel in Ghana, West Africa. The location is Kaswa in Ghana. And I'm sure you love the dogs, right? In case you want to link up with Mason's Rottweilers, just pick the contact details on our screen and link up with them. And then if you are new on our channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content. You also follow us on all of our social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at GH Dog Blogger. In case you want to link up with GH Dog TV, you pick the contact details on our screen, 055-328-4056. If you want us to visit your kennel, pet shop, your dog lover, you want to be on the show, you want to sponsor our show, just link up with them. This episode was proudly sponsored by Josira Pet Food, the pet food with passion. You've got dogs, you're looking for quality food for them. Link up. They've got wet food, dry food, poppy milk, sauces, and what have you. So just link up with them. And the beautiful thing is they've even got dog food for diet-sensitive dogs, which are grain-free and hypoallergenic. And then we're also proudly sponsored by Bravecto Chew, your number one solution to all ticks, fleas, and mice infestations. You found ticks on your dogs, fleas, mites. Go get Bravecto. After giving your dog one tasty soft Bravecto Chew, they're going to be free from ticks, fleas, and mice infestations for 12 good weeks. Bravecto can be given to breeding dogs, lactating dogs, pregnant dogs, as well as puppies from 8 weeks of age. My name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. Catch you another time. GH Dog TV. Your number one TV for all dog lovers.